and because he's just not doing too good. He's scary. way too long because it's been almost three weeks wow. since we have put out a video and vlog. that's crazy three weeks which is so crazy we have missed you guys so much it's the whole fam here <laughs> here's our little finley you guys he's due for grooming as well but he yeah. says hi so i know so many of you guys have wondered where we have been hopefully you guys saw our update so we post an update here on youtube on our community page mm -hmm. we also have been posting a little bit over on instagram at jared and Britt. but you guys sadly we got covid so yeah. we have been out for the past three weeks it's a beast and it has been a roller coaster of emotions you guys let us tell you that much for sure but before we go any further First of all, we just have to say thank you so much for all of your sweet messages, your prayers. Like we were so overwhelmed of how many of you guys were praying for us and just sending us the sweetest messages. And let me tell you, when you're laying in bed and don't feel well, like reading those messages just brought smiles to our faces. Oh, seriously, it was like the sweetest thing. Seriously, you, thank you. You guys are just incredible. So we're super grateful that we're sitting here right now. We're feeling better. As Jared said, COVID is no joke, you guys. It definitely took a toll on us, and it's been it's been a it's been a crazy last few weeks. So before we get into the story, I do want to say this really quick because I know that COVID is a very touchy subject for so many people. So many of us have our opinions, our thoughts, right, on everything. And let's just say this, we're all learning. It's a pandemic, right? We've never been through something like this before. We're all trying to do our best. We even hesitated on sharing, like should we share that we got COVID because we've just seen so much back and forth and we really don't want our channel to be a place of that. Like we're just sharing our own personal experience. Everyone has their own unique circumstances and needs to do what they feel is right. So. Please don't let this turn into anything like that. We just want to keep it, you know, positive and share our experience. And hopefully our experience will help someone else out there that may be going through it or has gone through it or will go through it. Cause so many people, you know, do get COVID unfortunately, mm -hmm. which is so sad. So with that being said, you guys, let's rewind back to as many of you guys know, Jared had to go to Panama for mm -hmm. a work trip. Yep. I actually had tested twice so i got the pcr test and the rapid antigen test before i left yeah so he had to get tested twice and he was negative so he went to panama for work and while he was out there here's brit back at home i was holding down the fort me and our little finn and i was vlogging as you guys know we were hanging out having a good time and then you guys I started not to feel the best, but it kind of just felt like a cold, like I started a little bit congested. You guys could probably tell from vlogs too. Yeah, if you look back at our last few videos, you can kind of tell that, you know, I wasn't my normal self. Yeah. And I would say the biggest thing I started to notice was I didn't have a ton of energy. Like I was tired at like four o'clock in the afternoon. And anyways, it was really strange. And then when I started to get kind of congested, I was like, okay, like I should probably go get tested to be on the safe side because you hear so many different symptoms you can get with COVID. There's so many different ones. So I was like, you know what? They say if you have symptoms, you should go get tested. So luckily right by us is a CVS and they offer rapid testing. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to get an appointment set up and go the next day. And I did film a little bit of that. So maybe I'll put that in here. But you guys, I was not expecting my results to come back positive i honestly just thought i had a cold so we'll put that video footage in right now and you can kind of see my reaction i just had my nose swabbed here i'm in the cvs parking lot there's like this little building right here and that's where they're inside. So a nurse came out. She gave me like a little swab, had me swab my nose a few times. And she said to pull over to this side of the parking lot and then they would call me with my results. <laughs> 
I think that's what she said. They're either going to call me or the doctor's going to come over. But I looked inside when she opened the door and there was an, another person in there like with a computer and stuff. So I'm sure they're running kind of the results in there. But this is pretty cool how they can do it same day with so quick. I really, really hope it's negative, but it's just good to be safe because I'm really just hoping this is a cold, but I would hate to spread this to anyone if it was COVID. So fingers crossed. So I just got a text saying you can go home. The nurse will call you. So I guess I'm going to drive home now and wait for the results. Not quite sure how all this works, but so, so grateful for those in the healthcare field to help us get better and everything. So I'm going to go ahead, me and this little guy, I'm going to head back home. I'm not going to go anywhere. Just head straight home till I know those results. All right, you guys, I just got back home and I do have a voicemail i must have got it when i pull into the parking garage because i didn't hear my phone ring but it's 45 seconds long i don't know if that's a good or a bad sign it's from a fort lauderdale number so i'm assuming it's them so oh my gosh i hope it's not covid okay i'm gonna put it on speaker Good afternoon, this is not some chance for Brittany Bingham. This is Minnie Clay calling about your COVID-19 results. Unfortunately, your results did come back positive. There's just a couple of reminders to please self-isolate and, and quarantine for the next 10 to 14 days. And it would be safe to go ahead and retest after that time period. If you experience any worsening conditions like shortness of breath or chest tightness, please follow it up in the emergency room. Um, if you haven't done so also, please activate the link to access my chart. Uh, that's where you can view your report and your test results. Uh, I'll try to call later this afternoon, this evening, uh, to report the results to you personally, hopefully. Mm. Uh, if you have any questions, please call 1-866-389-2727. Thank you. No. Oh. You guys, it's positive. No, that's terrible. <laughs> I did not want it to be positive. I thought it was just a cold. Oh my gosh, Jared, it's positive. So yeah, as you can tell, I was definitely surprised that I had COVID. I was kind of in unbelief because I just feel like we do a really good job. We all want to keep everyone safe as much as yeah. possible. Every time we go out into public or in stores or anywhere, we are wearing our masks when we can't keep a six foot distance. We don't really go a ton of crazy places. I mean, we go to our beach, our grocery store. But we're always like social distancing when we can. We're always washing our hands. We're being very, very safe. Yeah, yeah. As and much as we can. Yeah, and a lot of the time, I mean, you guys, you know, we show our footage and stuff like that, but a lot of the time you guys don't see us outside of that time. And so, you know, maybe we'll be talking to you guys. We'll take off our mask for a second so you can understand us if we're outside or wherever we are. So anyways, I feel like we do a good job. We want to keep everyone safe, even though Jared and I, are very healthy people and we're not in the high risk category mm -hmm. we still want to make sure we're wearing our masks and trying to keep everyone safe as much as possible but with that being said as well like we can't stop living our lives and unfortunately we can't just stay home and you know this thing is out there it's going around but we are trying to do as much as possible to stay safe so with that being said, like we don't know where I got it from. My sister and her husband Nate were here from New York, as you remember, visiting us. And luckily you guys, they did not get it. Yeah. So they are good. So many of you guys were so sweet and asked like, how's Michelle, how's Nate, are they okay? Yes, they are 100% okay. They actually got tested when they got back even before. And then once I found out I had COVID, they went and got tested again just to be on the safe side and they're good luckily. So they are good but we still don't know how I got it. Over the next few days, you guys, my energy level just went way down. Like I was sleeping nine, 10 hours a day. Like it was crazy. Luckily, thank heavens for food delivery, grocery delivery. I ordered, Jared had a really smart idea. We ordered a little grass pad from Amazon that came for Finn so I didn't have to take him outside. So, but being home alone, Jared's, you know, not here. It was hard and yeah. scary and stuff because I couldn't be there to take care of her, you know? Yeah, and we talk all the time, you know, but I honestly, I just slept. I never got a fever. 
The other really big symptom yeah, that I got was I was achy. Like my body is just achy. Yeah. I almost just felt like through all your veins, I just felt achy. Yeah, and she kept saying that she felt like she had just like worked out every muscle in her body. Yeah, but yet, no, <laughs> I did not. I wish it was a workout and not COVID, but that was like, another crazy symptom that I've never experienced with anything. I'm telling you guys all my symptoms because I think it's, it affects so many people different ways and everyone's always kind of curious, like, oh, well, how did it affect you? What did you notice? So achiness was big for me, as well as I had a little bit of congestion. It wasn't ever crazy. I didn't have a bad cough, which was great. I did have shortness of breath to a point. Luckily, thank heavens, it didn't get too bad for me with that. The other thing is, you guys, that was so different from anything else I've ever had was I lost my sense of smell and my taste. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is so weird. Like, that's never happened. And I'm glad because that symptom, I mean, it's not terrible, right? It's not like you're in physical pain, but it's just really strange not being able to smell or taste. Yeah. And my taste since then has come back. It's definitely not what it was yet, but my smell for the most part is still pretty much gone. So... We can go days without showering and I have no idea. <laughs> it is crazy. I also had a headache and that's pretty much it for my symptoms that I can think of. But the biggest thing for me, you guys, is I was so tired, so weak, so tired. I didn't eat a lot, I had like no appetite. After a few days, this guy got home and he was so sweet. He got stuff we needed but they always say you should try and isolate from others in your house. So we were trying to do that as much as possible. We slept in our separate bedrooms, which you guys, we have to say the biggest blessing in all this is that we had just gotten like the majority of our house all set up. So yeah. we had blankets, we had our beds, we had a couch, like how lucky are we that we actually had all those things set yeah, up that was really nice. from moving here, like ready to go. So that was a super, mm -hmm. super big blessing. We still got a bunch of boxes that we gotta- I know, we have so <laughs> much we still need to go through and set up. We just haven't gotten to that yet. Once Jared got home, we were trying to keep our distance, but what was it, babe, a few days, several days after you started kind of feeling- Yeah, I started getting like really tired, like extremely tired. Like one point I slept for 16 hours. Yeah, and so we just figured, you know what, he's he has it. We <laughs> did have him go get the rapid test just to confirm it, but. Yeah. Came back positive. It came back positive, so. I was just exhausted. I was so tired. I was seriously like so tired. I had a headache, I was congested. And a few days into it, I actually had, not to have, you know, TMI right now, but I actually had the hardest time keeping food or water or anything in me. It would just go yeah. right through me. Everything would just go right through him, you guys. To the point that my appetite just like went away. Because anything he would put in him would upset his stomach as well. And it was like almost instantaneous. Like I drink like water and then I have to go to the bathroom like just minutes later. Yeah, so it was that. We tried Sprite for him. We were giving him a ton of like Gatorade, saltine crackers. You guys, he could eat one saltine and he'd be like, I can't. I can't eat anymore, yeah. my stomach's going crazy. And then I'd have to go to the bathroom. Oh, it was so scary. And I'd, I'd have like a, usually like saltine crackers I love, and usually I go like those by the sleeve. <laughs> Especially when you're sick and that's I, supposed to be good on your stomach. Yeah. It's dry, it's supposed to help Yeah, we that. tried like bananas and bread and toast and all these things that are like a bland diet that's supposed to be really good for your stomach to help it like kind of overcome whatever it's in, you know, going on. It was not working yeah. and not only was it not working, but I could not even eat that much. It would take me almost an entire day to eat one slice of bread. So we decided this was on like day two, three of I think three. everything going yeah. through him. You guys, he was so sick and I- Oh, was it was really, really scary because we did not know if it was from COVID, what it was from. We assumed it was from COVID just because yeah. I had just tested positive and I just assumed it might be one of the symptoms. Yeah. And I did look it up and it is a symptom. Yeah, it is a symptom and even the lady. So here in Florida, you guys, I have a huge shout out to all of those workers, not only nurses and doctors, but healthcare, but all the people you guys that are calling trying to do tr contact tracing yeah. like when you're going through something like that it is so helpful to talk to someone that knows as much as they know about it and can mm -hmm. kind of help you through it and she was like the sweetest we became friends like she would tell us like symptoms certain things to do what not to do etc and so she did say like one of the first questions they asked you is what are your symptoms mm -hmm. and they ask you know 
do you can you keep fooding and are you throwing up like what's going on so we knew that was one of the symptoms yeah we knew that it was one of the symptoms be. but this was like next level like he oh. is getting so dehydrated and weak like yeah to the point that i couldn't stand up and it like i was cramping up like I'd go to the restroom and immediately afterwards my stomach would hurt like crazy to the point that I was like curled up in a ball like against the toilet. <laughs> I was just, it was awful. Yeah, it was so it sad. It was absolutely awful. So it got to the point you guys, I could tell he just was not keeping anything in him. He needed liquid, he needed hydration and food. Blood was passing through him like, and at that point we are like, okay, we need to go yeah, to the doctor. It was bad, it was really bad. So we called, we have this thing with our insurance called telemed, we called the doctor and they said, yes, yeah, take him to the ER right now. So we drove to the ER, which luckily there's only one, there's a hospital about 10 minutes from us. Yeah, really close by called Holy Cross. Yeah, Holy Cross. They were Cross. awesome. Yes so so nice we went there and it was really unique it was a crazy experience they had their masks and everything they're like you're fine come in so we got jared kind of checked in he had to get in like a wheelchair and yeah, everything yeah i had to be wheelchaired and i was too weak to even walk into the hospital yeah luckily this is another huge blessing so my incubation period because it's 10 days from when you first show symptoms and I was on day 11 at this point mm -hmm. with Jared. And so luckily I was feeling better at this point that I could take him to the ER. When you get there, I let them know, hey, he has COVID. I'm supposed to not be contagious, but I have had it too. And the doctors and nurses, they were so amazing to get us checked in. The hardest part though, you guys, was when we got there, after you go in and you kind of talk through all the symptoms and everything, they don't allow anybody back with the patient. That was so. really tough for me because at this point, like I was so scared. I thought for sure it was COVID. I thought for sure it was gonna be a more severe complication of COVID. And I know, you know, unfortunately people are dying because of COVID. And I just, I, I heard stories about people younger than me that have gotten COVID totally healthy and have unfortunately died because of it. And I, I was just so, so scared. And on the way to the hospital, I was crying. And when they like eventually wheeled me away from Brittany, I started crying again. And when I went into the actual like room, you know, like where they put you on the bed, the second the nurse left, I just started weeping. I was so scared. So sad. Yeah. And the doctors there were incredible. He came in and I just, told him, I just said, you know, I, I'm sorry to cry, like I, I'm trying to be tough right now, but I, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what this is for, or what's going on. I told him all of my symptoms, everything that was going on with me. And he was the nicest person in the world. Totally helped me feel at ease, helped me feel calm. And they really just kind of like calmed me down. I think they just did an amazing job. So thank you to everyone at Holy Cross. You guys were absolutely amazing. But they got me an IV, so they got some liquids in me, which was really, really uh, good. They got a blood test, they also did a stool test, and they just did everything that they could to make sure that I was taken care of and that I was in good hands. It was the worst feeling, like, leaving Jer there. He's in tears. I can just tell how much pain he's in, and you can't be there with your spouse. Like, it just broke my heart. Mm -hmm. And we get, like, the reasoning behind that and everything, and I just... I'm so grateful that we're, as I said, we're sitting here telling the story and like our outcome is different than I know a lot of other people. So we're super grateful yeah. for doctors. And meanwhile, while Jared was there, you can't wait in the waiting room. And I didn't want to be around people, obviously, in case if I was still contagious. So I went out and I was just sitting in the parking lot. I didn't know if we were going to be sharing this later or not, but I did kind of film a little bit of that. It's, pretty raw so we'll show some of that now just to kind of you could see kind of our emotions what we were going through at that time okay you guys so i'm at the er right now i had to bring jared the last few days he just hasn't been able to keep anything in him everything just passes kind of straight through him every time he drinks and eats so of course he's pretty dehydrated and just really weak. So it kind of got to the point that along with some other symptoms that have been happening, he has really bad abdominal pain. 
we decided we better call and see if we should take him in or kind of what we should do. And because he's just not doing too good. He's scary. <laughs> I can't be in there right now. I can't be in there right now with him, which sucks. <laughs> but I totally get it with everything going on. So luckily my last day of isolation has ended, so I was okay to like take him in and everything. But once you give him kind of all the information, everything, you have to come back and wait in your car, so there's not really anything I can do at this point. I haven't heard from him yet, but hopefully they'll let me know what's going on soon. But anyways, just praying a lot for him that he'll be okay. I just think he's super dehydrated. He doesn't have a lot in him and he doesn't have a fever, which is good. His vitals looked okay, they said just in the initial little check-in room that I could be in there before they took him back. I'm just glad he's here so they can check him, do any tests or scans to see what's going on with his stomach. And that's the worst thing right now for him is his stomach and yeah, scary stuff you guys. So I will check in in a little bit. Okay, so I just heard from Jared. He's doing okay. They have him hooked up to an IV right now, which is good. He said they're running a few different tests. They ruled out appendicitis because with his abdominal pain, they thought it could be that and a few other symptoms he's experiencing. He said the one test is gonna take 40 minutes and then depending on the results of that, he may be able to come home because the other tests they're running, they said take 48 hours. And so they're gonna make sure everything looks good on this first initial test. And if it does, it sounds like he may be able to come home. But yeah, that's all I know right now so far. So I'm still just waiting here out in the car for him. Just wanted to give that update, you guys. I'm just so grateful that my strength is getting better and that I'm able to help him right now. Cause man, I don't know how I could have done this a couple of days ago with both of us just so out of it. So super, super grateful for that. And then doctors are taking care of him and nurses just huge respect for all those healthcare workers it's pretty amazing what they do every day for everyone around them so as you can tell i was pretty emotional during that time i was so scared i didn't know what was going on with jared eventually he was able to call me and update me that he had his iv he was feeling better and that they were waiting on tests and the doctors thought it could have something to do with something that maybe he had eaten because they were saying this amount of what was going on with him isn't super typical with COVID. Which honestly at that point you guys was a little bit like music to my ears. Yeah. I was so nervous that it was a COVID related symptom and it wasn't. Yes. And so we were really, really excited about that. At the same time, like I'm still here, like hooked up to an IV in the hospital emergency room. So it's not like we're out of the woods by any means. Yeah, still in super bad shape. Yes, yeah, still super bad shape, but it wasn't a life threatening thing, which was really, really good to hear. Anyway, so they did all these tests and my fever came back negative, which is good. So I didn't have fever. My blood work came back, that was negative. And then, we had to leave before I got my stool test back and we had to wait about two or three days and eventually that came back and we found out that I had salmonella. 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 You guys, so he had COVID plus salmonella on top of it. Like, yeah. talk about like a double whammy. Yeah. It was awful. I was extremely dehydrated and extremely tired and I could not keep anything in me. It was, it was so rough for him, you guys. So that is why we did not vlog. We were like, you know what? We debated whether, you know what, should we like try and document our days and like what we're going through. But at the end of the day, we were like, we need to focus on getting this guy better. Cause at that state, I was doing pretty, I was doing better for sure. My energy was starting to come back. I still had the achiness and a few things, but Luckily, I was, still, I was in a state that I could yeah. really help take care of Jared. Yeah, and I was still just extremely tired. You can probably tell in my voice, I'm still a little bit congested. I am feeling a little bit better. I am able to keep food down now, thank goodness. Yeah. It's still not all back to normal. It they, has been a process. 
they prescribed quite a few different things that we were able to get for him that have helped a lot so it's yeah. been rough to say the least we now get like if you're not healthy or you're more in the high risk like i get why it takes such a toll on your body because mm -hmm. you have to like literally rest all day to fight this thing off like here we are two younger i mean younger to a point you know healthy point, for yeah. the most part individuals and even with our bodies like fighting this off was rough and it just knocked us out so i my heart goes out to all those you know the elderly and the more at-risk people because i get why it's so hard to fight this thing off mm -hmm. so we are so grateful you guys as we said that it did not affect us more so we're so grateful that we're on the mend we're on the up which is great mm -hmm. we're feeling better and we just again wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for your prayers because we really truly believe that that helped us get through mm -hmm. yeah. these last few weeks because they were rough yeah, so you guys have been amazing thank you very much so you guys that is our story that's where we're kind of at with everything we're still taking it slow you can probably tell we still don't have like a ton of energy <laughs> no. or voices like i think that's just gonna take time so yeah we, we do feel like we're able we're in a good spot we're both out of our quarantine period now mm -hmm. which is really good they say you know after t the cdc says after 10 days and if you're not experiencing symptoms now smell and taste doesn't go into that i asked the lady because I was like, I still can't smell. Does that mean I'm contagious? She said, no. She said, the CDC says, like, you're fine with that. But if you have yeah. other symptoms, you could still be contagious. And I've spoken to my doctors and they say I'm free to go out and about. Yeah, now it's been over 14 days for Jared, yeah. me even longer. So we're good. We've been, we've gone on a few walks, like just <laughs> taking it easy. I have day to day. take Gatorades with me on the walks yeah. because I get kind of winded and tired. and. Yeah. Well, you know, his, dehydrated. <laughs> his body just went through a ton, you know, yeah. mine did, not near as much as this sweet guy right here. I'm so grateful he's okay. You know, what's funny is that she doesn't know where she got COVID from. I know I got COVID from her, but I don't know where I got my salmonella. Oh, yeah. From. He could have no got clue. it in here. He could have gotten it over there because they said it can be, what, six days? Yeah, up to six days. Yeah. And it was about the sixth day when I started getting symptoms. Yeah, so we don't even know where that came from, you guys. So. <laughs> You know, the point of with all that, you can be as careful as you can be, but you can still get this thing. So that is our story, you guys. We hope, hopefully it helps someone out there. Maybe if you are experiencing a symptom, they say if you do experience a symptom, go get tested. We highly suggest that for highly sure. Yeah. So you guys, that is our story here. We're so grateful that we're here to tell it and that we're getting better. We're on the mend. We're grateful for each and every one of you. We cannot wait to start vlogging again, sharing our life. As Jared mentioned, we have so much stuff. We have so many packages here that we have not even touched. I know, we've missed vlogging I and know. we're sorry that it's been so long, but hopefully you guys understand now why. Yes, you guys, we love you all so much. Remember to be kind to one another, make the best choices you can, and we'll all get through this together. So we love you all and we will see you all next time. See you guys, love you. Bye. Bye.